Hi guys, I'm Stuck and today we are learning about the middle course of a river and meanders. So the way a meander first forms is because there is hard rock in the middle and the water is unable to go straight through it, so instead it has to go round it, thus forcing away the soft rock, creating the bend. Now, in the upper course, watch my other video if you don't understand it, there is a lot of vertical erosion. However, there is more energy in the middle course and this is where the um, meanders are found. Now because there is more energy, lateral erosion can happen, and this is another reason why the bends occur. Now there is more energy on the outside of bend, and this is what erodes it away. The energy of the, um, of the water erodes by hydraulic action, abrasion, and maybe a, a little solution, but not as much solution. Now this then curves, and this will in the end keep it curving. Now that it won't stop because it won't stop anymore now because of the fact that it always happens this uh, constant erosion away of the outside bend so it does stop after a bit but this verse this um, widens the valley now on the other side in the inner bend of the um, meander a lot of deposition occurs now there is less energy on the inside bend so the friction causes the um, the sea to flood and then leave deposition causing floodplains which I will go about uh, when I talk about the lower course in the river in the next video. So that is all you need to know for meanders and these are the main feature which can be found in the middle course of the river. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye!